So, apparently, there has been a man running around Santa Rosa, California with a head. What? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. on his shoulders? Exactly. It's his uh, own head. I <laughs> thought so. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. I thought so. <laughs> so, it... This is a 24-year-old man. His name is Luis Lopez. Um, he apparently had just gotten out of prison and decapitated one of his female family members and literally took off with it, with the head. What is the point? Yeah. So uh, Thursday, November 2nd at 3.40 p.m., Santa Rosa Police Department were called to the 2500, 2500 block of Pomo Trail about a homicide and the body of a headless woman. Um, the woman's name was, I just saw it here somewhere. No, no, never mind. I think, I think I'm seeing something else. I, no, I'm wrong. Anyway, they haven't released her name, but, so they were on a manhunt looking for him everywhere. And I'm they all they've said is that they have located him and arrested him. I want to know, did they find the head? Right. Why yeah. would you not tell us that? I And why take the head? What is the point? Right. I don't get it. Unless somebody is like mentally unstable in this situation. What's the point in taking the head? One, you're leaving the body behind, which is going to get you caught no matter what, not to mention right. who knows how much blood and evidence and things like that. But what is the point? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I'm going to go show all my friends? What? You got me. This is what he looks like right here. He's got 420 tattooed on the side of his head. Um, but he, he was in prison for assault with a deadly weapon or something like that. It, it was a violent charge um, that he had just gotten out of prison for. And it's it's disgusting. I don't understand why you would... They believed he was in possession of it, but when they update us on his arrest, they don't say, and he had the head. He was in possession of the head. They don't say that. But they were asking for help, looking for him, um, and finally, uh, they got him Gosh. and that was on November 4th is it look, it looks like November 4th is when they finally got him apprehended. Um, they got some kind of tip. So the, them sending out that and saying, please help us find this man. It actually worked. Thank God. Um, because they got a hold of him. And now we'll see what happens. I I want I just want to know the why. Like Yep. That goes back to the the mind aspect, the human mind. What caused that? What made you want to harm someone in this way and not only once they're gone and you've done whatever you wanted to do, why take the head? There is something going on in this kid's head, in this 24-year-old man's head. I I don't I don't understand it, but I would love to try to. Yeah. You know? So it says that the San Francisco police officers assigned to the Trans Bay Terminal observed an individual matching the description, uh, him, um, at 7.53 a.m. So does that mean he was about to take Trans Bay Terminal? What do you think that is? Is that like... What is it? Is the San Francisco Trans Bay Terminal? It says... They assigned to the Trans Bay Terminal. I, I, is that a train? No, I, isn't that the the train that goes underneath the bay? I maybe. Yeah, it's I, a eighteen million I know dollar bar, outdoor but, terminal located. Okay, but what is it? I don't. I'm I'm pretty sure it goes under the bay. Okay, I can't. Yeah. I don't think I've ever rode that. And I was gonna say I spent a lot of time in Santa Rosa. Um, but they found him in San Francisco. Like I've lived all over that area, but I never, I never rode what you're talking about. Um, 
I, it just I says mean, it's a transportation company. You probably complex. rode the BART. Doesn't the BART go under? Yes, I rode the BART. Yeah. I never rode it to go under, though. I think it goes under. I could be wrong, I though, think. man. I, I haven't been there in a long time. So. It's conceived as the Grand Central Terminal of the West. Okay. So it's just a transportation so he was building. probably trying to leave is what you're getting at. He was yes. probably trying to get out of there, get out of the area. I assume that if they had put something out to the public and they were like, hey, public, help us out, that he probably saw it too. Yeah. That's I think, my guess. Yeah. This is just a big transit center is is all it really is. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I mean, obviously he had got from Santa Rosa to San Francisco. I'm just curious. Was he carrying this head with him the whole time? <sighs> right. And, and right. don't like I, I know this is really grotesque, but do ble- heads like continue bleeding for a while? I would assume no, they do. No, no, I, I there's a lot of blood in a head, yeah. But depending on how you're holding it, I mean, those are arteries that yeah. you've cut and severed. That is your main blood flow for your entire body. I don't think so, it would that, all come out pretty quick. I, I'm assuming so, yes, I would. Yes, because, you know, one thing we looked at just recently on stream the other day is we were debunking the, not debunking, but bringing up reasons why it's probably not possible for the fight and tunnel theory in Idaho 4. And one of those reasons that I think is a pretty dang good reason is liver mortis, where once somebody is passed, once their heart has stopped, the blood pools. Wherever the body moves, the blood's going to go to an yeah. arm, to a leg, to yeah. a head, if you're, you know what I mean? Yeah, it all settles to certain areas, depending Gra- on how it's sitting, yeah. Gravity so, moves it. So apparently the Transbay Transit S- Center is um, mainly buses, Oh, okay. So, so then I'm definitely wrong. Yeah. Just Though I, I was thinking the BART is probably still called the BART. It I mean, is. Everyone knows that. So why would you it change it to something like Transbay? You know what I mean? No, so. Yeah. No, it, I, I've ridden the BART quite a few times. Yeah. But yeah. I knew it wasn't the BART. I just didn't, wasn't sure because I haven't really rode buses in that area, I guess. So I didn't know what that was. But anyway... Uh, I want to know what happened here. I want to know where this head is. I want to know if he was carrying it around, riding buses with it in close proximity to other people. Um, It's, I want to know why he even did it. Like, yeah, I mean, he clearly is just, he's very violent according to his previous charges, but I mean, it's his own family. Yeah. Um, It's just, it's really gross, really shocking. Um, But that yeah. feels sociopathic for sure. Super sociopathic. But what was he planning on doing with the head? Yeah. Gross. Yeah. There's only been a few times we've heard of people that have uh, beheaded another person. Like uh, what's his face? The really big guy that ended his mom. That is super smart. Ed Gein. Yeah. No, not Ed Gein. I, I think it is Ed though. Uh, gosh, I, he. He did horrible acts to the head. The guy that's based off of Chainsaw Massacre? No, oh. not that guy. Uh-uh. This guy is like a huge towering guy with glasses. Um, oh. You know who I'm talking about once I say it. Uh, Kemper? No, no, no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is Ed Kemper. Yep, Ed Kemper. Yep, Edmund Kemper. Uh, so he d- he beheaded his mom and the, a ton of trauma. She was one of... Uh, an awful mother, like awful mother. I feel like he became one of those trauma-based sociopaths, you know? I think there are some sociopaths Most that, of are, them are. that are born sociopathic, um, but then there are others that, you know, turn off those emotions because they're being abused, things like that. So, um, but yeah, anyways. Yeah, like rant. this guy could become something very, very monstrous. He already is a monster, but something even more monstrous. I mean, if you that's as monstrous as you can monster. I'm just uh, saying multiple people. Yeah. Like, doing this to Continue more, this. Yes, he would continue, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yes, absolutely. absolutely. But let us know what you think.